Hi everybody, this welcome back to the channel, Charlie's Angel Tarot, and this is going to be your romance reading for September. I hope you are well and safe, and I, a lot of holidays are over now, and the kids are back to school, so I suggest grab a cuppa and listen to your video. I have made the romance videos beforehand, um, but I've had some issues with the computer, so the computer will be taken away uh, or going to the menders uh, for a couple of days. So the romance readings will be done one by one because I had already done a lot, and the generals will be uh, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, and then Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and then. Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and I will be putting in the timestamps, so please bear with me. Sorry for the inconvenience, but you know, um, I, I can't do anything about it. Take care, and uh, please share and like with everybody, of course, and sorry I won't be able to go live this week, and also, I hope you enjoy the videos, and if you're new, then welcome, please sub and uh, subscribe and hit the bell and then you'll be informed remember to hit it on all otherwise you will block it out and also look at your settings in your mobile apparate apparatus okay take care enjoy the video let's go to the video ciao ciao hi Virgo this is Sha and this is your uh, romance reading for September and this is your first card it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the uh, highest energy of all. And I would add to that, open not only your heart but also your solar plex and your mind to new possibilities. It's not just love because love you have to see it, you have to feel it. And you have to feel it with your emotions. That is your intuition among your heart okay so be open to be able to receive the energies the ideas that somebody is fancying you or has an eye on you don't just <laughs> it's not just one thing it is a combination of it's like sensing it's like a little snail and he's got little antennas or a fly or an insect and they have their antennas and that is what you have to with some of the animals they're on their backs or uh, on their head so open that mind and let your radar go wild I'm seeing I'm doing this because I'm seeing somebody up there doing that and also doing this <laughs> okay so let the fre frequency get you okay calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations visualizations help to bring you together so if you do open that um, unseen uh, frequency that's called intuition among others and you are affirming then you will uh, feel it when it hits you and it's an amazing feeling I tell you that much okay Sometimes the butterflies start in the stomach. That is already um, showing you, or you get the twinges in your stomach, or you can't speak because you get nervous and you ta start transpiring out of nervousness. Those are the things that intuition is telling you, hey, watch out, it's the red flag, somebody is interested in you. That's in the first week, okay? And that is, that was, the three oh sorry I've got these two cards okay this card the clarification card it's like two people melt uh, melting into one and you've got the three of earth so that's the three of Pentacles you are being recognized there is recognition for your hard work or that you are actually um, affirming and visualizing and that you um, know it is safe to love and that you've opened your heart your solar plex and your mind to new possibilities so in other words your antennas and your radar is working it's being recognized by the divine and by the person 
that will be coming into your life. It could be a Cancer because we've got the King of Water. This is a loving, passionate, nurturing man. He's all, he could also be tall, dark and handsome. Um, and of course, he can be very, very sensual because of the passion. But this passion will turn into a, a, a mature relationship, an ex extensive relationship because of his nurturing and caring side. He is a good provider. And funny enough is I'm using different decks and here he's got dark hair and here he's got dark hair. Perhaps you don't like dark haired uh, men or women. So open up that possibility whilst you're opening up that somebody that you had not even thought of or a type that you've thought of will could come into your life if you're not hooked up and if you are hooked up you might see your partner in a different light that is also very exciting and that is the longer you stay with somebody or you're with somebody you do chop and change your attitude and your perspective about them for the good and for the bad so that's why we have to work on our relationships and on ourselves so that we stay interesting for our partner and the saying in England goes you get a man through baking powder but you keep the man through sorry you get a man through face powder but you keep a man through baking powder right I think that's a sweet little saying but it is true love goes and in Holland we've got the saying love goes through the mouth not through the heart okay so every time you you cook um, and you cook beautiful dinners um, he enjoys it or he start he might start uh, liking your sweets or your soups better than the main meal and that is how you keep the man interested that is just an old-fashioned way but it is quite true okay and you can if you're a man you could be doing the cooking and that's how you keep the woman because the woman would love uh, uh, love it that you do the cooking because the women I don't like doing the cooking all the time only for a big uh, family feast yes when it is appreciated that's when I love doing the cooking then I go to town as well this could be the one you've already met the this romantic partner your you seek yes you ha you might have already met them um, and you weren't aware that's why I said I didn't even see that card because I only put the cards down and then when I come to the card I already then I see what's on the table so that is also a uh, uh, proof to you that um, the cards can confirm each other which is beautiful and what I say what I'm saying comes from within me so expect the unexpected you might fall in love with somebody that you didn't uh, think uh, of that you would be interested in so this could be the one you might have met them already he or she and you've got the king of earth so anything that you touch will turn to gold so if you are making yourself attractive and uh, you're manifesting and you're opening up then you'll be a magnet and when you're going out there and you're putting yourself out there you will get positive results as the king of earth has the meters touch he also investigates and does research before he invests the king of pent pentacles or earth is Taurus but don't uh, exclude Virgo or Capricorn this could be your soulmate boom yes this is your soulmate even if you're hooked up you might have changed your perspective and you're so happy you feel lucky you feel comfortable you know what he or she feels like 
and they can finish your sentences and you can finish their sentences you're on the same frequency and that is real love that is being open with all your five sense senses if not seven that is your feelings your mind your uh, verbal um, sense uh, your smell your hearing your tasting that's already six senses so use all of them and when you are on the same frequency you are just two peas in a pod you're one then you are a soulmate and a soulmate can be uh, a man or your or a woman it doesn't have to be your partner it can also be a friend but because this is a romance reading I'm saying your partner you feel boom happy right and you have the four of air the four of swords it's time to take time out perhaps take time out with your partner take a midweek or a weekend or a week go on holiday and and because you are on neutral ground if you're not hooked up this is a good try out whether you can survive away from mum and dad or the family and whether you can get on with each other without television and without telephones really and without um, mother and father so that you are solemnly alone with each other if you can get on with each other this is the four of swords then it could be a fairy tale yeah and your soulmate then it is really a fairy tale like the carriage of Cinderella I love these cards they're soft gentle but they they the the, the paintings they just move uh, every time I see one there's all different you might be branching out look at all the race uh, cr uh, uh, crown of the king of pentacles that's like a deer or a moose and he's got horns I don't know and they're branching out so you I've got a feeling you are branching out to be with your soulmate we have the two cards that really represents the soulmate boom this is one on the front of the box this one and this one is like the angel your angel is coming in lovely and this is the meditation card could be a spiritual card as well so that, that you're taking time out spiritually to get to know each other spiritually and meditate together or contemplate together and evaluate the situation do you want to take it up to the next notch boom that would be nice you've got two kings here the king of water and the king of pentacles so that's cancer scorpio pisces and taurus virgo and capricorn they are here on the list now look at this we've got the ring i um, should have started with that but you've got the ring so you will be forming a partnership 25 7 is good luck okay virgo you've got the ring and you have the ace of clubs the ace of ones so you could be also hooking up if you're not hooked up with um, um, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius and if you are hooked up you might even go up to the next level going on honeymoon going on a holiday getting away from the environment that you're in so that you can change your perspective you're melting together look at the three of ones I love that it looks like the um, lovers card that is how you feel when your soulmates uh, that you're melting within each other and you've got the card carry on and you've got the road there or a river what is it it's a river so go with the flow and uh, because I said road you might be going on the road because you like you might be going away here and I think you are going to melt together that uh, this is water okay but I also see a road in it like this is your path you should carry on keep following the course you've set for yourself and the divine wants to change your route 
you will of course be given a notice just when you need it. Never in advance. Make a plan, take a breath and remind yourself it isn't, uh, isn't it wonderful. Everything is out of my control. There is more happening here than what I can see. A cosmic plan is playing out right before my eyes. Listen as the exquisite, beloved whispers. Your efforts will be duly rewarded. Carry on pouring love into your innovations. So, brilliant. Beautiful. I love that card. That's a nice one. Get more information before you travel though. Get your IDs. That's what I'm hearing. Get more information. Make sure that where you're going, if you're going, that there is no lockdown and, and that there is no restrictions when you're coming back because you're on your way big time. You, are, you could be traveling spiritually or physically and you will be coming together. That is also a journey, taking the journey spiritually together to get married perhaps. <coughs> you might be taking action as you've got the Ace of Wands here. Action, logic, creativeness. Wow, you've got the three of creativeness. Okay, so go with the program. Boom! That is beautiful reading and I hope you enjoy it Virgo and thank you for liking and sharing. I know you're one of my top notches in the last couple of weeks so enjoy this reading and give us the thumbs up and I'm sorry I didn't go live but I do still have computer issues one day I'll get a new computer I'll have to have a gaming computer because making videos is pretty hard on a laptop well my darlings I'm happy with what I've got and I'll keep on going as long as I can take care be blessed and stay safe just show me your appreciation by giving me the thumbs up and sharing with family and friends. Ciao, ciao. Love, Cybermum.